Let me tell y'all something, right? With some dudes, it's kind of like, y'all don't even know y'all spot. Like, come on. Everybody got a spot. Everybody got a spot. Some dudes is their neck. Some dudes behind their ears. Some dudes is their pecs. Listen. I already know a man's pecs is sensitive. I already know that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I be in my woman group telling me, you know what I mean? When we talk, when we have the sex talk, I be telling women, next time when you ride your man, just lick on his pecs. Some men don't want to hear that in public. It is what it is. Like, it is what it is. You don't want to openly say that you like a woman to lick on your pecs. Come on now. You over here on the mindset of a black woman. I don't judge. I do not judge, okay? When it comes to the bedroom, your girl don't judge, okay? But I tell women to, like, lick on your pecs. Like, take her thumb. Lick it and rub it. Rub your pecs while she's riding you and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying, like, and then I believe in the art of kissing. Kissing me, kissing, tongue me. Like, that's like a connection. All of that. All of that. So you should know what your spot is as a man. Some men be like, hey, China, I don't got no spot. Listen, everybody do. Some men like when a woman's choke holding their fucking neck. You know what I mean? Or a woman biting. Or a woman scratching. What you like? Like, what the fuck? What do you like? You know what I mean? You gotta be open with the woman that you're having sex with, fam. You cannot be... When it comes to sex, I wanna know, like, the things my man like. I need to know that. And you, as a man... You should know the things your woman like. Like, come on, fam. A lot of y'all ain't learning y'all women. Why? Why you not learning your woman? Why you not? And another thing, too, is kind of like, if, I don't know if you guys meditate, right? Or you guys pray or whatever. But, like, if you become like, just let her sit in front of you and say, I want to have a quiet time with you, Right? Say you want quiet time. This is with a chick, your main chick, that you've been dealing with. Y'all probably got kids together. You probably married to her. Y'all probably in a relationship. Tell her you want to meditate with her or you want to, uh, you want quiet time with her, right? And have her sit on your lap, like sit on your lap, like she's open her legs, is open, like she's hugging you, and y'all just sit there and just be quiet and just think. That's a real strong connection. A lot of people really don't understand that. That's a real, real deep connection right there. You know what I mean? You can probably play your music or you can be quiet. Like, that's real, real, real deep connection. So, it's kind of like you want to have, like, quiet time. Some people like to, you know, meditate. Some people like to pray with their women. I am saying so she can, so y'all can like be in the same quarters, transfer of energy. Like that's another level type shit. Like, like have her sit on your lap, but sit, sit looking facing you and just let her hold you and just be quiet. Like let her like take all that shit in. It's kind of like she building a connection with you. Like try that shit tomorrow. Try it tonight. Try it. You'll see. And then some dudes like, some dudes they think this type of stuff is corny it's not you will literally have a woman literally sprung and caught up on you i am talking about a woman that be that like that 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 ride or die type of shit like that's a woman because she feel like you know her you know her soul you know her inside and out and when it comes to sex that's just the tip of the iceberg fam understand and we be wanting that shit because it's kind of like Dudes don't even know how to touch a female. Like, 
Listen, if you are a construction worker, you fix cars, you cut grass, you know what I mean? You wash cars, you're doing a lot of stuff with your hands, and you have rough hands, it, it's rough when you're touching on the clip. It, 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 I'm sorry, it is. I got to tell you that. I got to tell me that. I don't know, maybe in high school or whoever taught you saying that to do it rough. Listen, I don't know. You could have been fucking with a chick. They had a super sized click or some shit, or she been ran through. I am talking about a normal woman, right? And she shaved or whatever, she waxed. You gotta know how to touch it. Like, you can't be just rough with it. Like, and a lot of dudes got rough hands, they just be so rough with it. Do you understand that the clitoris is like 6,000 times um, sensitive in a penis tip? Do you understand that? It's so sensitive, fam. The clitoris is so sensitive. So if you touching it rough, it's like, what the fuck? And then some dudes, like, listen, man, let me tell you something. Like, women will tell you, because I remember I was on the live stream, and I was breaking that shit down, and all the women was agreeing with me. You know why women don't like to be fingered? I'm going to give you all a secret here. I'm going to give you all a secret. You know why women don't like to be fingered? Because a lot of men don't know how to finger a chick. You do not have to spit on the pussy. You don't have to use spit. You don't have to use KY unless something wrong with that bitch. Okay? She not turned on when it comes to you. She's not. The reason why y'all using lube and the reason why y'all the reason why y'all spitting and using y'all um saliva, y'all doing that because she dry. If she dry fam, she's not turned on. You just trying to get a fucking nut. And she don't even know. A, a woman that's turned on by you fam. She's moist as fuck. A bitch would be so fucking. It'd be good shit. You have to use a fucking towel. You don't even fucking know that. And some women. They don't, they don't know that either. You need to know that shit. You don't need to spit. And then like you take your. Like when you fingering a bitch. You know what I mean? When you fingering a chick. Use your thumb to rub the, the click and you use your other fingers to finger her. You know what I mean? If she a little tight, I know you use one. And then you use two. You introduce two. But you talking her through it. But you're not like, you don't ignore the clitoris. Use your thumb. Use your thumb. So while you're going in, you just, it's kind of like you twisting your hand a little bit. And you're going in and out. So it's kind of like, it's like you twisting your hand. Like, so... Take take your um first two fingers and open your thumb like you're doing like you're doing a gun sign, right? It's kinda like you're doing a gun sign, right? But go in and twist and come back. Go in and twist. So it's like that. And stroke your thumb. That's how it is. So you're stroking the clitoris and you finger her at the same time. A bitch and you be talking to her. You wanna talk to her, you wanna kiss her, make love to her mind. Tell her everything you expect of her. You know, you talk about some shit you like. Like, bitch, you look good in that that dress tonight. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I like I like the dinner you made for for me. You know, and you just you just stroking her, stroking her with your finger. Now that's how you finger a bitch. That's how you finger. And then you have to be with the rhythm. You know what I mean? You got to be in tune with what's going on. You know what I mean? You kind of like own your energy, own who you are. In your mind, you about to de devour her. She don't even know it, but you're going to take your time with it. Because see, this is the thing. When you build up the sexual attention, that right there will be some of the most amazing sex. Right? And, and I'm not talking about a quickie. Right? I'm not talking about you just busting the night. Nah. Cause I'm gonna tell y'all, son, this is some powerful shit, and this is for men too. Your ass might get caught. <laughs> hey, you gotta really, you gotta be strong, fam. Okay. <laughs> fam, you gotta be strong as fuck. I'm gonna tell y'all why. I'm gonna tell y'all why I like, right? <laughs> because it's the thing. That bitch, she will put it on you. She she she'll put it on you. You know what I mean? 
if y'all both connect mentally, that's some of the most amazing sex a lot of men never experience. That's how some men get pussy well. You know what I mean? Your ass be walking around here looking crazy as fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Your ass be walking around here looking crazy as a motherfucker. Be like, nigga, what happened to you? Nigga, what happened to you, nigga? You know what I mean? You be like, man, I had some of the best sex of my life, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, get you pussy with. Let me tell you something. Listen, when I'm dealing with a man, I'm 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 fucking his mind. I am fucking your mind. I'm fucking your mind. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna take my time with you. I am. And then another thing too, I don't like to fight. I don't like to fight. You know what I mean? I know men. You know, I get it. I get it. You know what I mean? A man devouring his woman. A man controlling his woman. Listen, I'm going to let you control me. I like that shit. You know what I mean? I want you to control me. Tell me tell me what you want me to do. I, I know that turning nigga on. You know what I mean? Women don't really know when they listening to a man and doing what he want. That shit turning nigga on. Nigga be getting hard as fuck. You be like, God damn. I got a pretty bitch. I got a sexy bitch. I got a bitch that don't argue. I got a bitch that I listen to, and a bitch ain't arguing with me. That shit get nigga dick hard. You know what I mean? You know, it just do. It it really do. It'll get you hard. And I know that. But that's a woman, that's a woman being in the tune. But you can still a woman dealing with you. She gonna be in tune when she begin to deal with you. She gon' she gonna really wanna be good. Listen, let me tell y'all something right. Let me tell y'all something right. <laughs> So I was caught up right on on a man right. This was after my first relationship, man. This man was fucking my mind like it was no tomorrow. Oh my god! And I I was striving to be so good. At the same time, he was so so freaky too. That he was freaky, and <laughs> he didn't want to open my mind, right? <laughs> he did. He opened my mind. Oh my god! I'm like. Listen, listen, listen. I would just cry. I would just cry if I wasn't being a good girl. I just, and that shit was so freaky at the same time. It's like, like, listen, you can get with somebody, they be so in tune with you, everything come off sexual. I'm telling you, like, like, and this is the thing, right? A lot of y'all, y'all dealing, like, a lot of men and women, y'all not dealing, y'all have not yet met y'all match. Like, that's how I feel, because, listen, certain people, they fit into your life like a plug. And, and it's kind of like, she be everything you be wanting in a fucking woman sometimes. You know what I mean? A bitch could have like some shit you need to twerk. But a bitch could be beating on your rhythm. And it be so strong. The energy just be so fucking strong. But it have a lot to do with you. Because listen, I was so timid. I used to be so timid when I was talking to him. I be so timid. And it's kind of like... When we when it when the shit was on, that shit was on. 